in this step. Let us set up our environment essential services and software first. In our system map, we will need to set up Docker on Docker Cloud. And we will need a Slack account as well. We need two apps which are on tracks and Slack on cell phone. On PC, we will need Arduino IDE for IoT device development, also MQTTFX for communication data testing. So let's go through it one by one. Firstly, we will need a Docker Cloud account. And we will install many services on top of it later. What is Docker and why? You can do further study yourself. But for this project, we will need many services and servers. You will be much more complicated if we need to deploy them on your own Linux machine. With Docker, you learn it's very simple to deprecate an identical environment. Let's get started with the Docker Cloud service. Please go to Google and search Docker Cloud. The first one will be the one we need. You can see the website is cloud.docker.com. Please sign up a new one if you do not have. I will not go step by step, but I believe you can follow proper instructions in the website. Let's assume that you have an account set up. That's logging with your account. If you have your account set up, you will see the screen like this. Please go to Cloud Settings. And we will link to one of Cloud Providers. As you can see from the list, we have Amazon Web Services, Digital Oceans, Microsoft Azure, and some others. If you do not have an idea, I will really recommend Digital Ocean. It offers $20 for trial. It is very easy to link with the, from my experience. Please be reminded, this will be a charge service and you will need a credit card in record for the service, but it's very inexpensive for IoT project like this. It doesn't matter which service you use, but uh, you need at least one. In my case, I have digital Ocean available. Second, let's go to no clusters.
and create a list one note. It means that we will create a virtual machine running in your cloud provider through Docker Cloud. Please make sure that you have OneNote ready and status deployed. Then that's it. We will come back to this later. The second software is MQTT Client. Let's go to Google and search MQTT FX. The first website will be the location that you can download MQTT FX. MQTT FX is a desktop application that you can test our data communication later. So please download MQTT FX and choose the latest version. As you can see, there are a list of different uh, versions for different operation systems. In my case, I would choose Windows 64. Okay. And I already have my version available. So if that is well installed, please open it up. Okay. Okay, you will see the notice for you to upgrade. Let's say no. Okay. So if that is well installed, you can see the screen like this. Let's come back to this later. And next, we will need Arduino IDE. Arduino IDE is no stranger for Arduino devices development. Please go to Google and search Arduino IDE. The first website to download the same. You can choose your own version for your machine. In my case, I would install Windows version. Okay, you can choose download and follow instructions. If that is uh, well installed, you can have your program like this. Okay, available like this. Okay, so we will come back to this program later. We will need a Slack account. Let's go to Google and type Slack. The first website will be the service we need. Let's go to slack.com. You can enter your email here and create an account and a new team. Let's assume that you have a team created. Let's say I have a team called 
howercrystal.slack.com. So I can sign it, sign in with my account. Okay, so if you register correctly, you'll see the screen like this. Of course, you would not have a lot of uh, channel available, but that's okay. You can go to here. If you can see applications and integrations. And you can see this screen. Then that's it. We'll come back to this later. Let's move to mobile phone applications. We'll need to install two apps on your Android or iPhone. Let's take my iPhone as example. You can do the same for your Android device. We will need two apps. One is the own tracks, one is Slack. Let's go to App Store. The first one you will search Slack and install this app first. The second one would be on tracks. Okay, and install this app too. Okay. I already have my two applications installed. Okay, so that's open on tracks first. Then it will ask if you want to allow your location to be monitored. I will say yes. Okay, and allowed notifications. Okay, then continue. So let's go to information and it will uh, show the connection part is called public. That means that uh, our location is currently uh, published to a uh, public server. Okay, so let's change the setting to private. That means our location information will only go to our own server. So we will choose private. Okay, and we do not uh, have any credentials set up yet, so we'll come back to this later. Okay, so you're going to see there will be error, so that's no more. That's fine. We'll come back to this later. Then the second one will be Slack. That's open Slack. We already have our Slack account set up. So that's set up, uh, that's sign in with our current Slack account. If you remember, you already have a team set up. So I have my, uh, team set up as uh, howardcrystal.slack.com okay and choose next okay you will ask for my email and I would enter my email when I register G 
gmail.com okay send next okay and I have my password available enter my password allow the notifications again invite people I don't do that right now okay so if you see the screen like this and it show connected that means your slack account you will set up and we will come back to this later